Good evening, I'm Norman McLeod. This is the STV News at 6, live from Aberdeen. Now, a £1 million research project is aiming to dramatically change the way people with no speech and complex disabilities can converse with others. Experts at Dundee University want to produce the first voice communication system, which will predict words and phrases. Susan Nicholson has more. Do you think you had some ideas you wanted to tell me about what could be better, rather than just having the keyboard? For Alan McGregor and Sylvia Grant, having a conversation can take a considerable amount of time. Problem. So they're helping researchers at Dundee University come up with a solution. We're concentrating on one important aspect that makes us human is all the stories we have to tell. We don't just want to ask for a glass of water. It's more about the stories we've experienced at the weekend we want to share with family, with friends. And currently with AAC, this is the Augmentative and Alternative Communication, every time you share that story, you have to type it in again. We know from research in the past that if we do give access to stories, we can enable people to interact on almost an even playing field. I hope I will be remembered for my work on black holes and the origin of the universe. Professor Stephen Hawking has pioneered communication for people with complex disabilities. The new system, being developed by teams at Dundee and Cambridge University, will harness advances in technology. Alternatively, you could use this glasses technology. So this is for a prototype we're working with at the moment. What we say, what we want to talk about, what the stories we tell, depend on obviously who we're talking to, who else we're with, what we said to them before. So we're trying to give the system this information. And one way to do that is to extract some of it from sensors like we have in our pockets these days on our mobile phones. So cameras, GPS sensors, maybe motion sensors. The £1 million project right. runs for three years. It could personalise and revolutionise communication for thousands of people. Susan Nicholson, STV News, Dundee.